able to experience it and so happy that you shared it with me. Thank you for um, allowing me to be your guest. Thank you. I'd like to invite young girl Homa Tato Sri Wong Sunko, Second Minister of Finance and Minister of Urban Development and Tourism, to deliver his speech and launch the exhibition.
territorial boundaries. And we come together because we love the music. Today we come together to appreciate the paintings, the art, made possible by a very wonderful man, Mr. Stephen Bennett, and as the Chinese philosopher said, Chinese philosopher Confucius said, knowing it is not good enough. You love to do it, it's still not good enough. You have to enjoy doing it. I'm sure a lot of you probably know painting. Probably a lot of you would like doing some painting, but a lot of you probably would also like enjoy doing some painting. But that is how I think something that drives Stephen all these years. You not only know how to do it, you love to do it, you enjoy doing it. Then Confucius also said, Confucius, 2,500 years ago, also said this, that you enjoy yourself is not enough. You have to share the enjoyment with others. Sharing it. Stephen is here to share with all of us what he enjoys doing. And I think that is most important. Through his work, looking at his paintings, we get to know the cultures of this land. You know, in olden China, not only in olden China, even in all parts of Asia, people read life fortunes through portraits, through faces. And I don't know whether you can read fortunes through the faces drawn by Stephen. That's another art, thousands years old, uh, reading fortune through the faces, features of the faces and so on. That again is part of the culture. I also agree with my director of the Zoom, Sunny, Bernadi Sunny, that uh, internet sometimes can work wonders. Through internet we get brought together. Uh, indeed, uh, I read this book, The World is Flat. I said so last night also. The world is flat. The flattening of the world uh, made possible for human beings, for humankind to come together. And this is, of course, through the through internet, uh, through website, and all that. And there was this fear that flattening of the world could also bring about homogeneity of cultures. In other words, strong cultures may dominate weaker cultures. Take, for example, the American influence, for example, there is this fear that the flattening of the world, meaning that um, when the countries of the world are not protected by borders, territorial borders, then the weaker cultures can slowly be eroded by the stronger 
influences from the stronger cultures. And people talk about Americanization, for example, throughout the world after the fall of the Berlin Wall. You have the uh, American uh, television, American food, dresses, and, and so on. And people tend to imitate, uh, tend to acquire all this. And people fear that the weaker cultures may slowly um, somehow diminish or get eroded away. And, you bring about a certain amount of cultural homogeneity and so on. But this is not the case. Uh, as you know, um, through internet and so on, and through uploading, you can make known your own cultures to be shared by people all over the world also like how we can get together uh, through the contact me, internet, and Stephen Byrne has been able to bring all his art, pieces of art to Sarawak. But this is the ease of communication, travel, and all that which made things possible. So this world is no longer divided territorially, it's becoming one world. Uh, there is this magic date, uh, ladies and gentlemen, 9-11-11-9. 11 9, that is November the 9th, 1989, Berlin Wall came down. The Cold War ended, people came together, and of course, when Berlin Wall crumbled, people throughout the world hoped that peace would now come, would prevail, and so on. 11 9. Then, of course, we also witnessed 9 11, when the World Trade Centers of New York came down also. I don't know whether you noticed the the dates 11-9 and 9-11. And of course, then the situation in this world has somewhat been changed again. But never mind about that. Humankind only lives in one planet. This is our planet. A planet that you and I have to share. A planet that our children, our grandchildren are going to share. We only have one planet, and it is a planet that all of us have to treasure. And of course, to make possible the living together, working together in one single planet, humankind must come together, irrespective of racial prejudices, cultural differences, or religious bigotry, and so on, we somehow must come together. I totally agree with Mr. Stephen Bennett that when our Ustas pray, I feel peace of mind, although I am a Christian, I'm a Methodist, but we all have this freedom of worship that we enjoy in this uh, nation of ours and we live harmoniously together, we do things together, we live together, we share things together and I hope today we enjoy the portraits of the faces of the people together, looking at them and I think that would be can draw about a spontaneous reaction that people, although with different faces, are 